My name is Takao Hench. I'm a professor of molecular and cellular biology at Harvard University and of neurology at Boston Children's Hospital. We're interested in how the brain is shaped by early life experience and individual differences arise. This is something that um, differentiates all humans as a function of the cultural experience, the language experience, the motor experience they might have after birth, and typically occurs during critical periods of brain development. And so we're interested in understanding the biological basis for these heightened moments of what we call brain plasticity, when the environment is more potent in shaping neural circuit function. And this means these are windows of opportunity for acquiring new skills, such as language, but they're also windows of vulnerability to stress and disease and mental illness. And so it's important to understand why and how the brain goes through these kinds of dynamic changes in um, plasticity, malleability. The work that we do has unearthed uh, a variety of surprises. I would say um, two of the biggest surprises are first that the critical periods are not strictly tied to the chronological age of the individual. In fact, um, the brain has a developmental trajectory which can move earlier or later depending on genetics or uh, nutrition or stress. And secondly, that these windows of brain plasticity don't close just because we lose the ability to change, but in fact it's an active process. There are factors which come up in our brains as we grow older that actively dampen rewiring. And so this changes the way we think about critical periods. It's not that if we miss this time in early life that there's no hope for recovery. In fact, uh, our brain is trying to be plastic most of the time, but these uh, factors that dampen the rewiring prevent us from changing. And so this gives us new hope that, uh, in fact, we could reopen a critical period in adulthood and perhaps correct a problem or recover from a traumatic brain injury or acute stroke, for example, using what we know about early life.